Ah, we're getting into a battle. Perfect timing. Sitka banner bold. Color white. Alright. No. Black for it. Okay, we're in the match. Do, do, do. Welcome to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to a live presentation of War Thunder featuring the T18 E2 Greyhound. Look at this thing. Now, I uh, personally would like this to have a better power to weight ratio, but it seems like the design of this thing is not going to really accommodate that kind of a feature. And uh, you see, there's a few T18s in the team here. This is a neat looking vehicle, it really is. It's got that cool, rugged, like, almost a sci-fi look, you know, you can see this thing. Doesn't this look like a World War II version of the Normandy from Mass Effect? <laughs> Sans, uh, rocket boosters. Are we bogged down in the mud? Yeah, we're bogged down in the mud. My papa's name is Uri Bogdan Mladenovovich. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I am really, really uh, fatigued, uh, not in a mental sense, although that, that's also the case, I suppose, but uh, I'm tired. I uh, worked out in the sun yesterday, uh, spring just decided to uh, come, <laughs> that's my phone ringing, <laughs> uh, spring to, uh, decided to turn into summer officially here on the coast, and uh, we've got like... 80 degree weather. Of course, I'm using Fahrenheit for you, for you metric peoples. You know what? America defeated Napoleon, so we don't uh, we don't need to use that system. But uh, <laughs> oh, I got the scout mechanic. That's really cool. That is that's really. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. We're probably gonna die. Let's get out of here. It serves him right. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Do we see anybody? <gasps> we got a kill. With Artie. Oh my goodness, we just killed <laughs> nice! We just killed a P47 from the front, lads. Here's I couldn't even see the guy. I can't see anything. Oh look at that! They're replenishing the ready rack. That is so cool. I I really like the look of this vehicle. Now that ammo racks don't explode anymore, I don't mind. <coughs> Zilla the rack feature all. Where's that enemy? The enemy's getting closer to victory. That direction. Katinka Bugdova na na na. How you guys do? Oh, let's see what our smoke launchers do. Do they fire all at once? Do they go from the roof? Oh, they're individual. So nice. This is a really good little vehicle. It has all kinds of possibilities. Of course, if it was truly American, it would have a 50 cal on top. But uh, this was designed to be export friendly. I don't see anyone. I don't ever see anyone. That was an ally. The enemy is preparing for artillery barrage. Repeat, the enemy is preparing for artillery barrage. On target. That's not bad. Uh, minus eight. That's. That's not bad for a reverse rate. Okay, are you sure you were selling this to the British? <laughs> he gave it that good of a reverse gear? No wonder they didn't buy it. Uh, this is an interesting little vehicle. It has uh, two engines linked together in a really complex uh, transmission system that drives all eight wheels. So this is an all-wheel drive. We've captured most of the four by two. <laughs> Alright, what? 
Oh, he must have jade out. Well, we're getting all the kills here, lads and ladies. Good to see you guys again. I'll be checking on the chat in just a moment. I have to alt tab to do that. You guys get to actually watch me check the chat because I don't have a second monitor. I've spent all my money on uh, on golden eagles. <laughs> Golden Eagles and baby food, and uh, my wife just bought a, uh, a weighted blanket for me. And uh, probably because I snore too loud when I steal her weighted blanket, so she wants me to have my own. But uh, we're just not getting the scouts today. And it looks like the American team is doing fairly well, which at a 3.0 battle rating is not surprising. Very strong American 3.0. Uh, M4105 is one of the best vehicles in the game, and this time I'm not joking. Uh, it really is very competitive at its battle rating. Uh, of course, with the way the battle rating system works, when you get in an up tier, you're always going to face some very stiff competition. But, uh, are you gonna have yeah, he did. He ain't going to be rush hour 3. Okay. Moving over. So uh, I did purchase the last three medals for this vehicle because I've been very busy uh, doing adult things and uh, I'm grateful for that because this is one that I didn't want to miss out on. I've really kicked myself for missing out on, on some vehicles but uh, for the most part I've always put in the time to acquire the ones that I really want they really tickle my fancy. This is definitely one of those. I want all of the armored cars. Um, I remember back in the day when Baron used to talk about armored cars excitedly and uh, uh, how cool it would be to see them implemented into the game. Looks like we've wiped the hostile team, so cheers to all. How'd we do? Not bad. Three kills, no deaths. It was a. I really made it look effortless, didn't I? <laughs> But, uh, hey, what's that say? Victory. Port Novorossiysk. I don't know why people have a hard time saying that name. It's, it's actually pretty easy. Novorossiysk. <laughs> How do you like my accent? Rossiysk. Ramon. Raul. <laughs> I can't roll my eyes very well. Anyway, let me check out the comments really quick just to see if anybody's... Hey, Anonymous. Good to see you, man. Um, I just decided to do a little bit of streaming. Because, uh, well, I don't have time to make a video, <laughs> and I want to I wanna show off this new vehicle. You know what, before we go back into another match, let's take a look at this guy, just for, for posterity's sake. So we've got 50 mils, 50.8, what an interesting measurement, uh, of frontal armor, cast, homogeneous, 31.8, at a good angle there, there's your uh, Abrams armor right there. Uh, so, before the Abrams did it right, this is going to bounce a lot of shots. I'd say practically everything, you know, below like 80 millimeters is probably going to bounce on this. Even things that are supposed to overmatch this can have probably a tough time because of that angle. Uh, there's a little bit thinner armor. That is so weird. Is that is that the driver's hat? I have no idea what that is. What do you put through there? What do you do, right? Is that does if the relief driver, or if the driver needs to relieve himself, does he like flip his little his little uh, his little Browning submachine gun out there, and and do his business? I don't know what you use this for. <laughs> I suppose it's supposed to be an escape hatch, but it it looks like it's about the size of a baby's head. So, so yeah. Uh, let's go back to looking at the armor. Um. Machine gun port, probably not a weak spot. Looks like you have some overlapping armor there. Uh, so you got 50 and 30 at the at the least. It's actually effectively around 100 mils of armor. Not going through there, but here's the obvious spot, right? An inch of armor on these plates. And you know what? I got no words, man. I think this is not intended to take on tanks. But with a anti-tank gun, like this is not capable of firing... A significant high explosive round so this is not an anti-infantry gun this is an anti-materiel slash anti-tank gun so you'd think this was designed to face tanks and yet an inch of armor where it counts right how would you feel as the driver and the relief driver knowing that your life is worth 
an inch of armor. <laughs> but I suppose what you're supposed to do is uh, just peek over a hilltop with this and uh, engage thusly. I'm making this something of a, a scout slash support vehicle, but uh, you know, honestly, it doesn't have the mobility to justify getting rid of the tracked design. I think, and I might, I might not be recalling correctly, so just take this with a grain of salt, but I think the idea with this was really what you see under the hood. Two small engines. Uh, and these would be engines that uh, Britain could get a hold of fairly easily because their tanks weren't, you know, they didn't need these 250 horsepower engines for, say, their Sherman tanks that they were using uh, that the Americans were sending them. So I think this was the idea of, well, we're sending you tanks and we can use other materials and uh, things that are already being produced, like these truck engines, Right? This is this these look like the engine you would pull just out of a regular utility truck. Take a couple of truck engines, put them in this chassis, and there you go. You've got yourself a tank destroyer. Uh and you know, just forget the fact that this transmission system probably cost like half of the production value of the vehicle. And all these step downs like look, you've got a step there, you've got a step there, and you've got a step there. You've got two gearboxes, you've got all these things. Or you well, you've got anyway. The powertrain of this thing would drain so much horsepower out of these 250 horsepower of worth of engine. I think these are two 125 horsepower engines. You wouldn't get a lot of power at the wheels on this thing. Uh, but, at the same time, uh, it has enough armor to actually exist on the front lines of battle, which is probably you know useful. And to go back to looking at the armor, here's your side armor. So from, you don't want to angle this because this angle is not really what you want it to expose. Um, defensively in this tank, you want to drive straight ahead and then not expose your little cheeks here. And you have effectively around 100 mils of armor down to 50. Uh, so between 50 and 100. But here, serious just kick me sign right here on your, on your ports. But... If you if you don't make it easy on the enemy, these are relatively small uh, weak spots, even though they should be fairly easy to hit. So, in the strategy where you're fully exposed, careful now. Um, I would drive toward the enemy, and when they're about to fire, turn to the right or to your left, because then you'll be facing this area of your armor which is your stronger part of your armor uh, toward the enemy and if they do manage to punch through this side here well they take out maybe the commander and the loader but your gunner is still on that side and uh, your driver is on this side so protect the left side of your vehicle um, try and engage from a hold down position you saw us corner peeking earlier uh, that's a fine strategy when you don't have a better strategy I think and uh, can you use your booty to protect yourself from the enemy? Um, theoretically, this can absorb a certain amount of, of shots, especially with these radiators here. Radiators are just ridiculously good at absorbing damage, um, which I think is rather dumb. But the problem you encounter is this right here. Uh, you're not going to be able to depress your gun well over this, and I don't think you'll be able to shoot through these uh, fuel tanks in the rear. So I don't think uh, the booty bait method would be reliable. Um, shooting over the side, yeah, that's probably something you can do. But uh, again, wouldn't recommend it. Best thing with this thing, it looks like the strategy, if you want to play this strategically, is stick to a road, get into position, and then peek out and, and scout, and only engage targets of opportunity who present themselves and they're not paying attention to you. And because you're a scout tank, you're not wasting your time when you're doing that. And then, uh, if you do want to engage someone, hill peeking is an option because you have, uh, you know, a pretty good. Yeah, that's, you know, I wanted to say it was pretty good, but the the turret body is only an inch thick. Uh, but you got some slopes, you know, you got a chance of bouncing shots in your cheeks. And if this thing, if you are facing this thing, you'd probably want to, uh, if you can get one on the side here, that works. But as soon as you hit the side of this mantlet you're at 
over 100 millimeters. So I would just try and go straight through the front of this with, you know, say a Panzer IV, which you'll be facing those constantly. A T-34, I might try aiming for the cheeks. Or, uh, it's possible to shot trap this. Yeah. But it should be actually rather difficult because you have 50 here. And then another inch behind that. So around 80 or 90 millimeters of armor uh, on around the gun. And then these cheeks should be rather difficult to pen. But I would, I would aim for this side right here. There's a little bit more of a flat spot. You should be able to get that if they're looking straight at you. Just aim right there. Bam, you're right in the gunner's face. So, you know what? Sucks to be you, bud. <laughs> Sucks to be you. So, against this thing, uh, pretty standard aiming. Uh, aim for the flat part of the mantlet there on the right side. The left side is a little bit more difficult to hit. It's not. You can see there's this bulge around the gunner's face. Again, uh, the gunner's face area seems to be not well protected in a lot of tanks. So, it sucks to be that guy. But uh, your commander, he's sitting back here all happy. Here's some hatches you can actually get out of. I think this is an escape hatch, but it's just like a... Yeah, you'd have to really want it to be able to get out of that one. And then you've got an escape hatch on the side here and the side there. So it's like, why even have this if you have that? You know what? I'm not going to question it, That, but that seems really dumb. All right. Moving on, let's uh let's get into a battle. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness, look at all these people. We got D Man the Grey, we got Derp Tank and Anonymous chatting it up in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> Storm Tiger. M1A1. 150 y you know what? What? M1A1 152 millimeter gun? Are you talking like uh Abrams? Uh the 3D gun. Oh yeah, I got another gun too. I got a sniper rifle, I guess. Uh, Sturm Tiger. Yeah, Sturm Tiger is uh, apparently coming to the game as an event vehicle at some point. Maybe they'll do Sturm Tiger and uh, IS-7 in the same uh, in the same patch. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> the next uh, is Summer Madness or whatever. I guess we've had our summer event now, but uh, maybe for for Christmas. I don't know. Oh. My legs! My dead legs! I just, uh, sped tank toddler. Set her up. We set her up in the, in the refueling bay. And just kind of let her, you know, slop fuel everywhere. And, uh, and we disconnect all the hoses and, 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 you know, wash out the refueling bay. And, and tank toddlers had her meal. Uh, and then I just put her down for a nap. So she, like, she eats breakfast. She wakes up, eats breakfast, uh, t gets a bottle, takes a nap, wakes up, gets a bottle, eats lunch, gets a bottle, takes a nap. <laughs> she's just, she's just eating and sleeping. Uh, that's that's when these uh, when tank toddlers are in development, they take a lot of fuel and a lot of attention. So speaking of, uh, this is not going to work out very well for us. We got a long map here, and uh, we got a low horsepower engine. And eight wheels to spread it around, so let's try and go downhill as much as possible. Ooh, Attention that mist that. looks kind of neat. Is that new? Is that fog? I mean, it's not it's not great, but it's not a bad effort. Thank you very hey, bud. Much. Hey, bud. Please, please, no. This, no. Tank mating. Senpai just noticed me so hard right there. Roger that. All right, let's uh, let's thank him for Thanks. that. That was some good tank sex. Okay. Da, 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 da. Did did that? It looked like his designation was different than the others. Am I seeing things? Da, 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 da. Let's tell this guy T18 is fun. There we go.
Okay, we told the world. Let's get on the road and get out of here. Da, da, da. I like the T-18. It plays like the M24, but uh, with some obvious differences. <laughs> Hi, Scorpion. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this thing does not have a lot of power, but you know what? It's different, and that's what I like about it. And uh, it sort of feels like a... Uh, like a medium tank, but it gets a scout mechanic, which I think is, you know, just fine. That uh, makes up for its lack of mobility, goals. which is kind of an odd combination, right? <laughs> Usually your scouting mechanic makes up for your lack of armor, but this thing has a decent amount of armor. Not that armor really matters much at this tier. Uh, Panzer IV is even, uh... Oh man, sleepy da da. Panzer IV is even uh, T-34s, especially the long-nosed ones, are going to punch right through your armor, so you don't count on it. But uh, having said that, a little bit of extra armor can sometimes make a big difference when people aren't Attention able to, to aim easily at your weak spots. All in all, this is just perfect for an event vehicle. Uh, I agree with the European Canadian on that score. Um, this is what I like to see. You know, things that are neat, things that stand out, things that get to be yours, and, uh, and, you know, other people aren't gonna have access to them after the event. You can feel like you got yourself something special. And, uh, and at the same time, it's not, it's not something that's gonna shake up the meta of the game. It's not something that you feel like you're not able to be competitive if you don't own it, uh, which would be a, a true shame. You know, there's been a few event vehicles that have been uh, a real change to the meta, or a potential, you know, change. If you had them, you could really shake things up. But this is not one of those vehicles, and I think that's appropriate because these events are just. If you if you had to do this event, I, I feel like it would be a serious disappointment. But where is the so-called enemy? There. <laughs> Found one. Gotti. That uh, that worked out rather nicely for us. Ninja think. Alright, that's how we do it, lads and ladies. Stuck in the stuck in the eighties. Good turret traverse on this thing. Attention to the map. So all in all, you know, this is not a bad vehicle, and it's not intended to be, you know, a, a modern tank destroyer, you know, of its day. I think, if I recall correctly, this was just a way of using like all these parts they had around. They're like, hey, we can make 10,000 of these things, like, next week, when do you want them? <laughs> and sometimes, all you want is another gun. Ask my wife. Uh, I wondered why my ally was shooting at me. <laughs> it's because there was enemy the right enemy behind me. The and that's the downside to operating in the... Hey! Danny23025. Nice to meet ya. Let's, uh... Let's take out the SPD with gun pods, cause why not? The world is not enough. But it's just the perfect place to start. Excellent! The world is not enough. <laughs> oh cool! Hey, you're watching the stream. Alright, let me uh speaking of which. Oh, that's not, that's not the stream, that's the thumbnail we're working on that right now. Uh, hey, Werebus, good to hear from you, I saw you in the game. Get, I'm playing. Daniel Becker, the judge. I will be the judge, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I'm too, uh, I'm too sleepy, I'm getting goofy. I'm a tired man today. So, it's overcast. 
do I use the oh man the P39 is so good uh, Air Cobra was uh, introduced to me in the form of the, the Soviet Premium and from the first time I played it it was uh, it was pretty great a lot of fun and when that 37 actually connects when when RNG is with you it feels so good uh, there's a downed plane somebody's getting spotted Stealth rounds, lads and ladies. Great way to take down AA. Down there by the house. He still doesn't know I'm here. Got him. Hey. Got he. <laughs> All right. I can dig it. So we're against the Germans and the Soviets, apparently. Yeah, now I look. There's gonna be enemy air coming at some point. Oh. G fire. What is it? It's a truck. Oh my, he's on fire. We're having a good old time. So slightly armored German panzer. Very easy to destroy, yeah. Oh, speaking of easy to destroy. Attention to the designated grid square. Attention to the designated grid zone. What's dead? The getting closer to victory. Oh. We almost had him. Emergency power. Scotty, I need everything. What? What? Boy, what are you all? It's a Nippon. Get dacked, miscreant. Get thoroughly and utterly dacked. Um, hello. Oh! Oh! That is so satisfying. <laughs> that was uh, that was fun. That was good, good wholesome family fun right there. Oof! Welcome to the stream, guys. <laughs> that uh, that was very that was very fun. So if you haven't played the SBD, <laughs> give her a shot. She's a lot of fun. I just I just made this thing look good. You know what the difference is between me and you? I make this look good. <laughs> He's going too quick for you to catch him. This old boy. This old boy. Are you gonna die? Nope, not today. The light forces have Let's get to the duel. <laughs> You've just activated my trap card. Ah! Speaking of, if we don't do something fast, yeah, the enemy that will uh, win. that was we bound to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do the duel. I should have gone for that BF one nine, but he was gonna outfly me anyway. So do we go on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Let's take out the old Shermy boy. I have no idea what he's saying there. Hey, that's a Stuka G. Oh, we got the kill! He just crashed! Alright, I'll take it. Sounded more like fly every day. Or, er, not fly. I, I don't want to sound like him. Baron. Baron Bug Games. I'll take it. Alright, I'm not seeming to connect with my shots here, so I should stop advertising my position. It looks like this side of the map is a rather dangerous place to live in. I don't know where the enemy is, and that's a problem. I feel like I'm going to get shot in the side. They're taking B. 
Um, do we go for A? I really don't want to engage in long range fight. Uh, yeah, Sherman 105 is so fun. So fun. It used to be really fun, and then they ruined uh, chemical energy rounds for a while, and the Sherman along with it, and then they gave this thing a down graded battle rating and uh, fixed heat rounds. So that's nice. You know, you can thank uh, French tanks for that. French tanks might suck uh, at top tier, but uh, at least it got them to take another look at eat we're getting a piece of him I don't want a piece of you I want the whole thing yeah, you better run I know where you live boy I don't know what a Deutschland is, but I'm gonna feed it to you. <laughs> you want fries with that? Kill assist. We're doing great, lads and ladies. We're, we're having a good old time. Not because we're doing well. <laughs> we can have fun and do poorly. But, uh... Okay, maybe it is because we're doing well. Let's be honest. My emotions are fickle. Alright, speaking of fickle... Alright, Tickle Monster, where'd that come from? Oh, he's all the way over there. I see you. I see you. What's that, about 800? Pretty dang close. If I say so myself. Come on, that's a pretty good estimation. He's going to have a hard time punching through me. Or not. Let's watch that one. Side armor. I... I have no words for that. <laughs> Never works when I try it. Okay. Um, let's get into the skies. Let's put some stealth belts on. Actually... Yeah, our team's losing this match anyway. We might as well have some fun in the skies. If we can. We'll see. Uh, I really... Uh, I'm not running a squad today. Oh my gosh, look at all these juicy targets. Most of them are flying slow. You know what, let's try and take down that uh, HE. I think I can out-defensive fly BF-109 if I have to. So that guy who's coming in with lots of energy, I think we can deal with him. That looks like a... That's a big plane, big boy. Hey, you big old boy! You a big old boy! Is he coming straight for me? Yeah, that BF-109 is coming straight for me. Are you gonna... Yeah, okay. Ooh, well, not not a bad match at all. Um, I I'm probably not going to be streaming for very long today, so I'm not going to squad up with anybody. I'm just going to get a few quick matches in uh, in my new vehicle just to just to get a feel for her and and share with you guys what it's like. And we got a pretty good start there with the what's that? The T18 E2. Just a neat looking vehicle. Um, and you know what? Let's uh let's keep her going. Set that for the next research. Great lineup as well behind it. Um you got the M4A3105, which uh I got a random talisman on back in the day from doing these events uh a few years ago. You got the P forty three if you have that. Uh, it's a great little like miniature baby P forty seven. You got your SBD three which is a fantastic ground striker for uh, lightly armored targets and it can even carry a thousand pound bomb so there's that and as you saw the rear gunner is not useless uh, M8 there you go another cute little little fella and you'd think what M8 at a 3.0 at 4.0 battle rating eh, against the Germans you won't have too much trouble and you can punch through a T-34 if you know where to shoot so uh, no worries and then uh, you can even have some, some decent AA behind you. So all in all, uh, not a bad lineup. You've got some other options. 
you can go for what do you see here the m5 not a bad tank at all i think it gets a scouting mechanic as well m22 also um you know, extreme amounts of mobility what else can you have in your lineup with this thing da 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 da, da. <laughs> My baby girl, you could throw an M8 behind that, no problems. I uh, wouldn't be able to do a whole lot, but uh, man, you can certainly pump out the rounds. I, I'm still just having flashbacks when we range found on that uh, <laughs> KV-1 so fast. That's about 800 right on, uh, but we weren't punching through that armor anytime soon. Uh, let's do one more battle and check the chat. Both or the M4A3E2. Okay, hey! Alright, cool! It's cool that you and, and Logan know each other. Derp tank. Oh, let's, uh, let's work on our thumbnail here. So, Sitka Banner Bold, 300. Uh, let's see, a T. It's got a T18E2, right? E2. I bought it, I should know what it's called, but you know what? Um, all right, relaxed. That's what we are today. We're tired, but let's call it relaxed. Uh, ba -ba. Let's copy this and then wait. No, I messed up. It is white first. Okay, copy. And then change the color. Sounds like we're in a battle. And paste. And move. And. Alright, let's get out. T18. Another map that is just perfect for this. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Who are we with today? Everyone except the Japanese and the Germans. Uh, battle rating. I think we are in up tier. T18, M10. Yeah, we're in an up tier. That's a 3.7. Uh, so we're like 3.7, maybe 4.0. Uh, maybe maximum up tier. So we'll see. I'm not too worried. This thing should be fun either way. Oh, I'm tired. I need a nap. It's hard for me to take a nap, though. I mean, now would be the perfect time, right? But then I wouldn't be able to make videos. So, we'll see. Maybe when uh, Tank Mom gets home, I can convince her to watch the baby for a minute while I zone out on the couch. And by convince her, I mean I'll just grab a pillow and start zoning out, and she'll have to take care of the baby. <laughs> I do that a few times. It, uh, it works. But it doesn't make her happy. <laughs> Long term consequences. Anyway, we got the T 34s on our side today. So we're going to be facing a lot of Panzer IVs and U 2 and that kind of deal. Now, if I recall correctly, that's about 12, 1300. Let's just give her the old pop test. That looked pretty good. I can barely see. If we can't scout any more tanks while we're here. Attack to C point. Low. That was also low. That looks like it's coming straight for me. <laughs> How many rounds? I didn't bring a lot of ammo. Let's do some more scouting. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. Yeah, somebody got a piece of it. That's nice. Allied forces have captured a zone. Alright. 
Well, that's that. The enemy has most of the strategic zones. Looks like we got a good foothold on C. Maybe I should head for the B point. See, that is kind of disappointing. Somebody's already been scouted, then I can't. Then I can't uh, scout anybody for a little bit. Take it. That one was going to go into him as well. See how that works? He had no way of seeing me, but we elevated the gun. I guessed the range and uh, kept being wrong. It was closer to like 2,000. But uh, we do not have a 50. So I should not bother shooting at that guy. But I'm going to do it anyway. So we haven't been useless. You know, we near useless, but we're not exactly tits on a bore, so... Doing something better than being dead. Okay, so that was like 1400 ish. That'd be way off. I wasn't far off. Those are like 1600. Oh, I hear tank, baby. Yeah, this is going to be the last stream, the last uh, match. I might have to say it. Okay. That's coming right for us. Let's get out of here. I don't like getting shot at. Refresh the scout real quick. All cheeky breaky like. And let's go for the back side. See what's going on back there. We're a scout tank. We're just here to support you guys, so... No need to get too crazy. Uh, uh, if we don't do oh, something fast, worse. the enemy will win. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will what 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 is this thirty? You gotta be careful now, you're exposing yourself in public. He dead. I'm gonna go ahead and say he's dead. He better be dead, but oh, he gone. Truth's out there. Oh, go piece of color for that die. Alright guys, I'm just gonna put this on cruise control and AFK. Hopefully the best will happen. I'm gonna go rescue the tank, baby. Tank toddler. All right. So can you say hi to the people? Yeah, hi, guppy. Yeah, hi. Oh, everyone's dead. All my friends are dead. Cover me. Go in. Oh, 
Wait for them to ask We've captured most of the strategic zones. Ready! Attention to the map! It serves him right! Alright. Okay, hey, I like that. Attention to the Worked designated out, bad zone! Shows. Thank they base for being good luck. Toby said love. You're precious. Oh precious. What was that enemy? Artillery, great reference! Oh. All my friends are heathens take it slow. So this tank, as you can see, can perform in an up tier. But we did not play aggressively. We did not go die gloriously. And we even AFK'd for a little bit to go rescue the tank toddler out of out of the crib. She's just waking it up enough to uh, start causing trouble. So <laughs> we're going to end the stream here pretty soon. She is so sleepy. Can you guys hear her? She's groggy. She's checking you guys out. She's using Safinga to scout out the mic. Yeah, what is that coming? What is that? What is that? What is that? Are you messing with my mic stand? Yeah? Are you pushing it? Now people can't hear me? Yeah, let's get that back there. Ah! The driver is I was distracted. Ah, no sticky keys. Freaking sticky keys, man. Oh, we managed to take a few hits. All in all, not a bad match. We got outdone by a fellow wheeled vehicle, so that was really neat. <laughs> I'd like to see more of these in the uh, regular tech tree, but uh, they were a pretty fun little thing to collect as a cream or as a collectible as well. So that's that's pretty neat. All right. Oh, there's somebody up high. Yeah. Oh my gosh! If we can manage to find that puma, he is so dead. We got 50 kills up the wazoo here. Tubbies, what you doing? What you doing? Are you playing with the mic? An enemy is I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's pretty interested in what's going on down there. He was on the back side of the B point, wasn't he? Their dressed tissues, not to mention. They say they can smell your intentions. All my friends are healing take it slow. Got him. There's a BF-109 about to jump, but ain't much I can do about that. Let me get this guy. Attention to the designated grid square! We are losing! Yeah, you got us. Well, rip us! We had a good run. Uh, maybe I should have gone for that BF-109, but I don't know. I can't really outturn the guy anyway. What should we do? Let's get back on the ground. Let's get back on the ground. They need us. Hey, Chuppies. Yeah, she's checking out the mic. All my friends are here, then let's take it slow. Looks like they're not spawn camping this side of the map or I'd already be dead. That's good. Wait for them to ask we don't have the advantage anymore. Please don't make any sudden move. You don't know the half of the abuse. All my friends are here and take it slow. Guppy. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Thank baby. 
this don't make any sudden move that guy needs you to leave his mic alone more or less <laughs> you can get away with a lot kid because you're cute and i like you did you know that i am distracted i'm a distracted driver hey you got there where i can talk to the people okay where are we are we just driving straight into the enemy? I can't see anything because it's all rendering. I cannot play this game on the best quality and stream or record at the same time. So we're on like a, like a high setting with maximum render range, but it's still things things tend to pop in on these big maps. There's gonna be people on the backside there between C and B. Between C and <laughs> yeah, you like moving that around. I don't know what you guys are hearing right now, but she's she's in control of the mic now. So so the stream belongs to the tank baby now. <laughs> it's been taken over. Yeah, you like that? That's that does mic stand. You're gonna pull it off the table again, aren't you? Aren't you? Looks like we're Captain B. What? Yeah. I don't know what that word. Is. He toss it. Yeah. That sounds almost like Japanese. Kito bito. That's people for ya. That was that. Dead tank. I am exposing myself. That is one of us. A26. Bush tank spotted. Oh, come off it. Go, Pete, stop. Yes, oh, that's not good for us. Ha. Go, Pete. That didn't work out for us. <laughs> we tracked him and he spun right around the faces. I wanted to get his engine. Oh well. You were close. There's a difference between the uh, M4-105 and your regular M4. <laughs> we should have had that guy. But we just don't know our gun. I haven't spent enough time in it. So, if we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Is what he's telling us, but I don't know if I believe him. Let's take our little junior space potato out and see what we can do. I heard an airplane. We can punch through the roof of that stug. Or at least spot him. Let's get into the theater. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, is that fun? Now they can't hear me. <laughs> there we go. He's taking B. Okay, let's get in there. Get stuck in. We no longer have the advantage. Yeah, that's my keyboard. Back off. Back up. It's getting it's getting hard to handle. <laughs> this is this is why we don't stream with the tank, baby. You're gonna bonk your head, Guppy. You guys probably saw him, but I can't see anything. Oh, there he is. A couple of them, I guess. Ah, okay. We'll get him, Guppy. We'll get him. Good job. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave it there. Let me let me check the comments real quick. See how you guys are doing. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Daniel. I, I can't. Uh, I don't have any more time. I gotta quit playing games now. Um. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the T18E2. Just got a hold of this thing, and I gotta say, 
it's uh, plenty of fun. Not the best mobility, decent gun, great fire rate. I think you can drop it down to like four seconds. Um, good armor, penetration qualities, decent uh, post pen effect. Not a bad gun at all. Um, high velocity, even. Um, armor, not something you really want to count on, especially this battle rating. Uh, mobility, uh, not not exceptional in any way. Better on uh, on pavement and uh, and improved roads, as it were. Uh, but you just don't have the horsepower to do much. Uh, all in all, a fun vehicle. Something neat, not overpowered, just different and uh, and special. Worth collecting if you're a collector. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.